Shalom, Yahshua. I want to start out with an infinite analysis to my Heavenly Father, my great King, Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Harakar Kadash. I also want to get double honest to my teachers, the process of great millstone, the salutation to my fellow laborers, and Yahweh Shah puts in the truth, God's the four winds. This Father, I will shout one of you, brothers. Uh, this clip, man, it's going to be a correction video. I made a uh, mistake by not likening this scripture. Uh, to the topic that I went into, this is Daniel, the 8th chapter, and I bought out on verse 24 and 25, and the sit-down I, I went into the other day, and I didn't um, liken it to my topic, so so, to, so there will be no confusion. I'm going to just uh, break, break it down accurately, you know, because we do things decently in order. That's what the, that's what the other apostles just taught us to do. Uh, growing up in, in, in Great Millstone, the spirit where the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Rashad dwells. Uh, when it comes to these scriptures, we have to be perfect and breaking them down. So I had, I was going into a topic uh, on my last sit down uh, about Esau, you know, and the way he do things in the planet Earth. You know, he's been doing the same thing using uh, the device of deceit. Uh, and, and passing legislation and unrighteous decrees to subdue the people on the earth. And he's doing it the same thing until this day, you know. But uh, when I bought out the precepts, you know, I didn't liken it or break it down. I broke it down spiritually, but I didn't break it down accurately. So uh, I wasn't politically correct when I broke it down. So I'm gonna just, this is not going to be long at all. All right, this is Daniel 8, uh, 24. All right, in the latter time of their kingdom, let me start at verse 23. When the transgressions are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance, understanding dark sentences, shall stand up. And this is talking about um, Antiochus' epiphany that came from the line of the solutions. All right? And, it, and, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And you know, when you understand what the Greeks did uh, when they came into power, man, they. They had a lot of nations that they were hired to fight with them. They'll make a lot of covenants with nations, covenants with nations, and those nations would go to war uh, with them. They would go to war with them. And that's what it means when it says, but not by his own power. They, had, he also, they would also hire mercenaries to go and, and subdue certain nations, okay? All right? And it reads, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully all right and that's what i was bringing up the scripture to show uh in my last sit down that the so-called white man he's not doing nothing different than what he's been doing since he's been in the garden man he's just been a very a very uh mis mischievous churl that word churl goes in to scoundrel um he's been a devil what the word devil means in the latin diablos he's he deceives the nations all right, and that's what he's been doing, man. All right, he's been destroying wonderfully, okay. And the way he's destroyed our people is through Hellenization. When uh, when you read uh, Maccabees the first chapter, first Maccabees the first chapter, and you read how he Hellenized our people, he took away our customs, our culture, and if you were found uh, obeying. I will uh, law, statutes, and commandments, and keeping the covenant. You was put to death. All right. So when he in instituted that legislation, he put out that decree that destroyed our people. Because that's that's how our people became Hellenized and became heathens. Because he started our people started calling themselves uh, Le Laocidians, Philadelphians. All right. All of those names throughout Asia Minor that the Grecians conquered and named after themselves. All right, Smyrnians, so on and so forth, Ephesians, Thessalonians, so on and so forth. So that's how he destroyed our people. All right, that's why great king said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And what did he came to do? He came to restore 
and put back in our remembrance this doctrine of life and give us this glorious gospel and blow that breath of life back in us. But what did the Hellenization do when Epiphanes put out those unrighteous decrees? It took that breath of life out of us. It took uh, it discontinued from our heritage, and he destroyed us wonderfully. As when you look at our people, they the his, the the nation, the peoples that descended from the loins of the Greeks are these Americans and Brits and so on and so forth. They're doing the same thing to this day. To this day, okay. And shall prosper, and practice and destroy, and shall destroy the mighty. Prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And that's how they destroyed us, man. By uh uh we read first Maccabees, man, that 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 uh pact that a lot of our people made with this devil like they do to this day. I'm gonna just go get it right fast. Uh this is uh first Maccabees chapter one verse eleven. This is what it reads. In those days when I of Israel, wicked men who persuaded me, he said, let's go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For we are departed from them and we've had, but since we departed from them, we've had much sorrow, you see. And when our people start uh, defiling themselves with the heathen, heathen and their hearts was taken away from the Lord, that's how they got destroyed, all right? So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people who were forward herein for they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. All right. All right. So our people start living as the heathen. And that's how uh, anti, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, all right, Hellenized our people and destroyed them wonderfully. All right. Through decrees he passed that made it uh, unlawful and punishable by death if we kept our customs and our culture, man. All right. Uh, let me go back to uh, Dan. All right. This is verse uh, 25. And through his policy, also shall he cause craft to pro pro prosper in his hand. All right. And then, hold on. Let me go on and get that policy. One of these policies. He's decreed. Got to go back to where I just left. All right. This is... Uh, First Maccabees, I'm going to go down to 44. And it reads, For the king sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they shall follow the strange her laws of the land. See, that's those policies. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in temple. And they say they shall profane the Sabbath days and festivals and pollute the sanctuary and the holy people. All right? That's how the devil did it, man. He put out those decrees to destroy our people, all right? To Hellenize us and make us profane like them, okay? Back to 25, and it says, and through his policy, policy he also shall call craft to pro prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And that's what happened to that damn devil, man. He magnified his head, got big head. He got real big headed, all right? He got real big headed. When you read upon this devil, especially when he was coming against our people, he won a few wars. Um, Antiochus won a few wars. Uh, he subdued the Egyptians. And uh, he subdued somebody else, all right? And he got the big head when he was winning those little skirmishes, all right? And by peace, he shall destroy many. And by peace, he shall destroy many. And those, all of those damn um, treaties he was making. All right? No different than what the so-called white man did with the tribe of Gad. All right? They'll make treaties with the Gadites and break all of those treaties. All right? There's no honor amongst these motherfuckers. Uh, the prayer of Messiah called the nation of Edom uh, the most uh, wicked in all the world, man. All right? He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken with thy hand. And you know, when he came against the nation of Israel, he was standing up against Yahweh by Shem al Shai. All right? And Yahweh by Shem al Shai destroyed him. And, and the other sit down, I likened that to our great king, Yahweh Shai. You know? 
and I didn't break it down accurately, you know. I didn't say, well, I didn't like it to what they was doing um, from a historical perspective, perspective in that scripture, you know, and it, and, it, and, it, and it confused people. I was doing it from a spiritual perspective. But uh, I just cleaned it up through the spirit and power, Yahabah Shemar Mashah, uh, Abaraja's eyes edifying to the hearers. And I want to give an honest to my Heavenly Father, my great King, Yahabah Shemar Mashah, by Shemar Karkodash, double honest to our teachers, the apostles, great millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah. Kwame Asherala, Bible Bob.